They say a listed race next in it's the Bank Wensleydale listed chase and the so with three miles. The top one is Alive and Kicking for Martin Leedham. Beat Your Wings, Leon Van Rensburg. Charlie 2, Thomas Rogers. Forza Juve, Ryan Tamasebi. Miss Wacky Asset, Ryan Castello. Placebo Park for Craig Allen. Rear Coronas for Alex Cherry. Ultra Cool, Graham Clitterbuck. Big Fat Truth, Craig Beckwith. Uini Talking, Thomas Rogers. Rag Top Skoda Car Chase, Leon Van Rensburg. Special Cargo, David Robertson. And Wada Smiles for Darren Thompson. So, called in then. Rain stopped and away we go. And the grey alive and kicking is the first to show as they get to the first it's a short run of the first and they all skipped over it nicely seen lots of fallers today and alive and kicking is in the lead by three quarters of a length and that looks like it's going to go up to a length pretty soon big fat truth is in second and rear coronas as they take the next which is the second looking towards the back rack top skoda car chase is the back marker and leon's with the horse isn't too far from the back either beat your wings so it's alive and kicking in front then and get down to this ditch and he's opened up a lead of a good four or five lengths already it seems to be the way this season that one horse tends to go off into a clear undisputed lead it doesn't seem to be staying there very often although Sasta Nakam did manage it in the last race Charlie 2 is the early back marker and just finding the pace a little bit hot but alive and kicking is the one setting that pace and currently has a six length lead to Rhea Coronas who's back from last season as well I think in second then Big Fat Truth is third Miss Wacky Asset is fourth Forza Juve after that one does that mean Ryan Tamasemi is a closet Juventus supporter we've already had one of those in the league before haven't we with the uh, Kiara Agante who seems to have disappeared. Then comes a wider small special cargo, named after a really good horse bought a few years ago, as they take the fifth. And a bit of a mistake there by Wider Smiles as they get to this next one, which is a plain one and alive and kicking is well clear of Rhea Coronas in second. And Big Fat Truth is third. Then Ultra Cool and Forza Juve as they get over the 8th this wacky asset is the one wide on the track just tucking itself in though now to you know slightly more of an advantageous position being chased by Ragtop Skoda car chases and his way forward from the back the grey there is wider smiles on the inside is Uini talking I think it's the first of two in this race for Thomas Rogers and then special cargo for David Robertson. I don't remember the real special cargo being a grey mine, but now they get over the ninth. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was owned by the Queen Mother as well. Uh, anyway, enough waffling as they come up past the stand and they'll come and take the fence. It'll be the last on the next circuit. And Alive and Kicking will be hoping to still be in the lead next time round. And the commentator will be hoping he is too as they get over this one the 10th of 20. With Rhea Coronas in second and Big Fat Truth in third. Then Ultra Cool is four and four. The UA is five. Miss Wacky Acid is six and Rag Top Soda Scar Chase is seven. Then Special Cargo is eight and UE Talking nine and Wider Smiles ten. And then Beat Your Wings and Placebo Park. And the one out of shot is Charlie Two. So past the winning post then. Impressive looking stand in the background. They're about to swing right handed and make their way out for one more circuit of this Berkshire track. And Alive and Kicking is clear by five lengths to Big Fat Truth in second, Rhea Coronas in third, then Ultra Cool is four, then Forza Juve and Miss Wacky Asset on the inside, they begin to bunch towards the back of the field as you can see there, and Special Cargo is the one that's just been forced wide a little bit, it's not going to cause him too much of a problem, there's not another turn for some considerable time as they get over number 11, and Alive and Kicking's lead is down to three now with Big Fat Truth closing in second and Ultra Cool in third, Rear Coronas is next, then Forza Juve as they come to number 12. And they're all over that one okay as well. Although the one that's just started to lose its place again a little bit is Miss Wacky Asset. Placebo Park has just been sitting quietly at the back, watching everybody so far. But that's from the Craig Allen stable, so you can expect that one to make a forward move before too long. And it looks like it's starting to do so already. But a lion kicking leads by two, with on the outside the rap tops go to car chase now getting much closer as they get over that one. Special cargo was down on his nose, and look at that Craig Allen horse almost have sort of psychic vision or something because the way it's cutting through the pack and it's getting ever closer to the leading group there's a leading group of three now alive and kicking is only half a length up on rag top skoda car chase with ultra cool between the two and it's almost three in a line then rear coronas and placebo park and you really talking with wider smiles also there as well along with um 
big fat truth. So they take that 15th then, and over that one, the lead has been surrendered by Alive and Kicking. An ultra cool has just about gone on. Look at this placebo park. It's come right round the outside now to be challenging, but Alive and Kicking wants to get back in front as they take the 17th. That's the final ditch, and Raptops go to Car Chasers. Dart has gone. Wild Dispute in the lead. So as they get to the next end, another faller for Leon. I don't know what's going on with his horses this week, but I've seen plenty of his on the deck, and Placebo Park has crept through to the lead then there, just as we thought it might do. The one really throwing down a challenge now, though, is Forza Juve. As Alive and Kicking starts to beat a retreat, and Forza Juve hits the front. So Forza Juve in the lead then, from Placebo Park and Ultra Cool. Wider Smiles is beginning to run on, then you when he talking. The one on the wide outside, Beat Your Wings, is trying to get into it. Over the second last they go, better jump on the near side by Ultra Cool but Forza Juve the jockey looks to be going best on that one back in third is Placebo Park did that one go for its run too soon then Wilder Smiles beat your wings is trying to get into it also running on his you weenie talking this is the final fence they're coming to now and Forza Juve looks like he's going to be coming into it in the lead he gets over it nicely gets away from it well and now being chased again by Placebo Park but Forza Juve well inside the final third and it's a good two lengths clear looks like he's going to take this one jockey has a little look around but he's looking the wrong way because beat your wings on the outside is getting closer and it's Forza Juve hanging on and up the line. Forza Juve wins it from Placebo Park and beat your wings and you any cool and ultra calls after that special cargo ran on as well. Charlie 2 was the last one to finish. And it's another one for Ryan Tamasebi. A race that changed complexion two or three times over the final three fences. What would have happened if Ragtop Skoda car chase had stayed on its feet? Because that looked to be going as well as anything when it fell. And... Forza Juve takes it then for Ryan Tamasebi. Placebo Park for Craig Allen was second. Beat Your Wings for Leon Van Rinsburg was third. Uini talking for Thomas Rogers ran a nice race in fourth. And Ultra Cool for Graham Clutterbuck was fifth.